this comeback. Campbell finds Cy Barnett and Barnett down into the red zone. The Bulldogs will not go away. 35 yards. Cy Barnett does a nice job leaning to the outside to create the separation and a window for Jamie Campbell to throw the ball into. Just really well, well executed route. And Kerwin Bell is an irate coach, as he should be on the play, uh, the pass interference call that was called off. But the management of this game and the play selection and the clock have been literally the responsibility of Valdosta State. And you think to yourself, if that pass interference call is made, mm -hmm. game's over. The game's over. If you also think to yourself, what if they decide not to throw it and just run it? Now, Ferris State, even if they don't gain a yard, Ferris State still has to use another timeout. Right. This is the call we're referencing. This was called initially as defensive pass interference, as you see right there by your line judge, and was called back off. And, and Kerwin Bell has every right, the head coach of Valdosta State, to be upset about that call because he's right. But choosing to throw the ball there and choosing to throw the ball when you have all the advantages, the momentum, the clock is in your favor, and forcing Ferris State, they only you force Ferris State to, to use one timeout, Tiffany. And with 1.11 to go within the 10 yard line, Tony Anise is going to rely on Jay Wu Campbell. First three quarters, he was 6 of 12, 25 yards, a touchdown and an interception. Fourth quarter, 4 of 6, 74 yards, and no drive more important than this one. First and goal. Okay, and keep in mind, there's a minute left and left. You got two timeouts. They would have never imagined they'd be in this position three minutes ago. Campbell keeps it himself up the middle, down to the five-yard line, brought up by David Brown. Clock still running. Remember, if they score here, they have to convert on the two-point conversion to tie it up. Barnett on the sweep, get to the outside, and he's in for the score! Touchdown! Jet sweep action for Cy Barnett, who's been a go-to guy on this drive, got them into scoring position. It's been a highly successful play for their offense all night long. Tremendous blocking on the perimeter by the rest of the receiving core. And it comes down to this. Hey, we're in McKinney, Texas. It's Big 12 territory. Why not have a Big 12 type game? What do you call here? I think you've got a play action pass off of the jet sweep motion. They give it to Barnett, the double pass, looking for a man in the end zone, and unable to bring it in. And that is likely the ball game. Wow. Tried a little trick -oration. Just out of the outstretched hands of Keandre Craig on the back end line of the end zone off of the reverse double pass. And credit Ferris State. They knew what their two play, point play was. They knew what uh, yard uh, line, not what yard, excuse me, which hash mark they wanted it on. They just didn't quite execute it. And that right there, folks, is why it's called a game of inches. And Val Valdosta State, Tiffany, excuse me, very, very fortunate to be in the position that they are in right now with how the last four minutes of the game was managed. Ferris State making their first ever national championship 
game appearance. Gave it literally everything they had. It has been an interesting one back and forth. We felt like it would be a barn burner for these seniors who are likely playing their final game of their career for the Bulldogs. Now, as we've seen in this game, don't move anything out no. here. Okay, after that touchdown, now you kick it off. You likely will try an onside kick, and you still have two timeouts at your disposal. Plenty of time and plenty of ways to stop the clock. Now this is this is two teams that you can clearly see why these two teams belong here. Explosive, exciting, have have answered the, the toll each and every time the other team has made a play or scored. And Kerwin Bell of Odessa State calling timeout doesn't like the alignment of this kickoff onside kick look from Ferris State. He wants to talk this over. Folks, we're seeing the two best teams in Division II truly duke it out here in this title game. Valdosta State seeking its fourth national championship. They're 40 seconds away. Tony and East and the Ferris State Bulldogs came in undefeated, 15 and 0 on the season as both teams were. They were looking for their first. It's interesting, we saw Tony and East there and I asked them, spoke with them this week because a lot of people told him not to take this job. And I said, so when you took the job, what were the resources? What are they now? Are they really invest? I said, no, they're pretty much exactly the same. So we ask people, don't judge the cathedral by the side of the church size of the cathedral. Judge it by its people. The onside kick. And Valdosta State recovers. At least they claim they have. Well, I saw one of the line judges on the near side, or rather on the far side, say yes, but they're digging to find the bottom of the pile and that ball. Yep. A lot of unruly, unsavory things happen in that pile right there, Tiffany. around in between the legs of a player so it was up for grabs and there to recover it was Jackson Bull and, and really fair state targeted the, the right guy they targeted a lineman that was on the front line of, of the onside kick return team well, you the worst ball skills of any guy that you're going to have out there. Ball bounces off of him and just unfortunate for Ferris State not to be able to recover. A great showing from this group out of Big Rapids, Michigan. Two really well coached football teams. It's, it's, it's tough to see a loser today. As good as Kerwin Bell and his staff have been all year long. I'm a little perplexed by the last four minutes. But boy, I tell you, Tony Anise has been just as impressive as has his staff and his kids. Second most points by the D2 National Championship <laughs> game. As expected, two excellent offenses. Two quarterbacks who were among the best in this division. Right now, Kerwin Bell is just saying, can I go home? Can we all just please go into the locker room, get on the bus, and go home? Remember the trophy presentation coming up after this game concludes over on the ESPN app. Check it out on ESPN3. Man. <laughs> Traveled a long way. You think of a 15 and 0 season for Ferris State coming in. As we mentioned, their seniors playing in their last game as Valdosta State. 
in victory formation, Ferris State using their final timeout. Kerwin Bell right now, we are one play away, guys. One play of not botching the snap, taking a knee, doing all of the easiest things in football, right? Just, to, just the fundamentals. This is what we practice at the end of every practice, of every Thursday, and every walkthrough on every Friday. Don't screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> For Valdosta State, this is a big moment for them and for Ferris State. Awesome job to get to this point and for many of their players, their seniors, this is the final game of their football career. No way to stop the clock at this point. You see the emotion on the sideline for Ferris State. Disappointment on the other side. A sigh of relief as Valdosta State, your 2018 Division II National Champions. Well, congratulations to both of these teams. So well coached, such great players, and what a long journey to get here. I mean, it is a long season for everybody, but at the Division II and the Division III level, that playoff structure is a grind. So congrats to Kerwin Bell, Valdosta State, and Tony Anise and his staff as well at Ferris State. Kerwin Bell in his third season helping the Blazers to bring home their fourth national championship. Good exchange at the middle of the field between those two coaches. Man, barn burner, exciting game. The highs and lows that you would expect of a national championship. It delivered on.